Thomas Fuller, a man the world tried to enslave, but whose mind held a power so extraordinary, even America's brightest scholars could not understand it. The Mystery Begins, a quiet field in Virginia. An elderly enslaved man is approached by a group of skeptical white scientists, men who came to mock him, to test the intelligence of someone they believed was inferior. That they were wrong, very wrong. They fired the first question like a weapon. How many seconds has a man lived who is 70 years, 17 days, and 12 hours old? The field went silent. Fuller closed his eyes. No paper, no tools, just a mind sharp enough to slice through time itself. In less than 90 seconds, he gave the exact answer. The scientists checked their calculations. Thomas Fuller was correct. They tried again, harder, faster, more complex. Thomas, how many seconds in a year and a half? Fuller answered before they even finished verifying the question. Stunned, the scholars whispered among themselves. This man, whose freedom had been stolen, carried a genius they could not measure. Finally, they gave him a problem, so massive, so ridiculous. They believed it would expose his limits. Instead, it exposed theirs, Fuller answered. The scientists compared numbers and realized their calculation was off. Thomas corrected them. A man denied education. Was now teaching the educated. Word spread. A human calculator. A living enigma. A mind faster than any machine the world had ever known. And when he was asked how he learned such mathematics, Fuller simply replied, I use the brain God gave me. Thomas Fuller was born enslaved, but his genius could never be chained. He didn't just solve numbers, he solved ignorance.